G'day guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. If you're new here, my name's Blake and I'm a full-time Australian reseller. What that means is I go to places like op shops, thrift stores and garage sales to try and find the very best items to be able to put back up and resell for a decent profit on eBay. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important but also one of the most hotly debated topics in all of eBay reselling. Specifically, we're going to dive into the debate on whether you should be offering free shipping or whether you should be making the buyer pay for shipping on the items that you sell. Which one is better for your business? Let's find out. The free shipping model can really seem like the most attractive option for eBay sellers. This is due to the fact that it can really help you stand out from the competition and seem like a better deal for potential buyers. Customers are often going to choose a seller that offers free shipping due to the fact that psychologically, it can really seem like they are getting a better deal. By offering free shipping, you can make your prices seem much more competitive, which in turn will make the buyer think that they're getting a really good deal. However, as good as it does sound, there's definitely some negative parts of offering free shipping to your buyers. For starters, you actually need to build the cost of shipping into the price of your listing. This can actually make the price of your item seem a lot higher than some of your competitors and in turn, that'll actually turn off a few of your customers. This can be a really negative factor, especially if you're selling in a category such as mine, which is clothing, in which other items are available at a low price point already. By adding in the postage cost to that item, it can make things seem way overpriced, which is a really big turn off. Additionally, if you're selling larger, bulkier, heavier items, it can eat into your profits because sometimes you might not be able to properly calculate just how much it's going to cost you and therefore it's probably going to eat into your profits because you're going to overpay for postage. This can still be an issue with buyers paying postage but usually it's covered to a better extent and it can be a lot easier to figure out. Alright, now we're going to dive into the other option which is available for your business, paid shipping. By making the buyer pay shipping, you're potentially creating a much more transparent pricing model for your business. They know exactly how much the item is costing and how much they're paying for shipping, which can really help them make a more informed purchasing decision when shopping on your store. This also enables customers to be able to see exactly how much they're paying for the item as a whole, instead of the inflated price of a listing, the fact is in the shipping. And as a seller, you don't have to worry about losing money or the cost of shipping eating into your profits, as you know that it's always going to be covered by the buyer. Another advantage of making the buyer pay shipping is it can potentially allow you to offer a more diverse range of shipping options. For example, you could be offering faster shipping options to your customers by using things such as express shipping, which may not always be feasible when you're offering free shipping. Of course, you could add it as an extra when it does come to your free shipping model, but it's a lot easier to work out for both you and for your customer if you do it with the paid shipping model. By offering a diverse range of shipping options, you're giving your customers more control over their purchasing decisions. This can potentially attract a wider variety of customers to your store. However, as with the free shipping model, there's definitely plenty of downsides to making the buyer pay shipping. Customers may actually be deterred by having to pay an extra fee for shipping. Oftentimes, buyers don't actually understand exactly how much it can sometimes cost us to get their item to their door. So to them, it may actually seem like we're charging them extra or being greedy. Unfortunately, for some buyers, making them pay shipping can be a deal breaker, which can potentially lead to decreased sales for your store. Also, and this is the really big one guys, which may be the turning point for what you pick for your business eBay allows buyers to search with a free shipping filter in the search columns. If you're making the buyer pay shipping on your items, you're completely disqualified for this buyer's search, which means your item will not show up at all. No matter how good it is, no matter how low it's price, if a buyer is searching for free shipping, but you're charging shipping, you're not gonna show up whatsoever. This is definitely something to keep in mind and has been a turning point for me in the past. So, this is what you've been waiting for. Which one is better for your business? Free shipping? Or making the buyer pay shipping? Well, unfortunately, it's not all cut and dry and it's definitely not black and white. Hence why it is such a widely debated topic in the reseller community. It ultimately comes down to your business goals, your profit margins, and the kind of customers you're trying to attract. If you're looking to increase sales and attract more customers, then free shipping may be the way to go. However, if you're starting or you're trying to offer a more transparent pricing model for your buyers, then paid shipping is definitely the right option for you. Ultimately, the decision of whether to go for the free shipping model or the paid shipping model really depends on your your own personal business and your goals. You'll need to consider a wide variety of factors in order to make an educated and informed decision on this matter. If you want my opinion, the approach that I recommend is actually doing a combination of the two. This will allow you to test a variety of products, test certain shipping models to see what works best for your business and what one you prefer with the items that you sell. As we went over, both models have their positives and their downfalls, but the good news is no one said that you have to pick just one for your business. For instance, I actually changed between the two 
for most of my items. Heavy, bulkier items and certain specialty items, I do actually make the buyer pay for the shipping. But when I sell things like media and DVDs, video games, I always offer free shipping. For the most part though, overall with my store, I actually charge the buyer shipping. I've often gone between both models for my business, but honestly, I really like the transparency that comes with making the buyer pay that fee. Most buyers aren't silly. They know that shipping isn't free for us and they are more than happy to pay that little extra fee or to cover the cost of shipping if it means that they're getting the item that they're trying to buy at a really good and competitive price. But hey, guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know exactly what model you use down in the comments below and let me know if I've missed anything that you might like to go over in a future video. In conclusion, there's no one size fits all for eBay sellers when it comes to the free shipping or paid shipping debate. Each option has its distinct advantages and disadvantages advantages and these are things you're going to have to weigh up for your own business. As always, remember to keep the customer's needs and preferences at the forefront of your brain. Don't forget your own business goals, but by providing a really good service and a really good price to your customers, you're building a reputation, you're building a loyal customer base, and that's really going to pay dividends in the long run. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this video here if you want to go and see exactly the sort of things we're picking up in thrift stores. It's a really good video. We find some really great stuff and you're going to learn a thing or two. But I'll leave you with that one and I'll see you over there. Happy reselling.